Leicester have had it loads of times. They've had yeah. their main man being taken away. And you know what? This is probably one of the reasons you, you've done so well and, and managed to to combat uh, to you know from being a relegation side to now being contenders. You it's know, mad. Leicester's one of the only few clubs in the world that can handle injuries like this. Bring up someone from nowhere and then make them into a, a world class player. As well. it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. mad. Yeah, um, it seems to be happening time and time again, doesn't it? It just does. Yeah. You know, you know, we've lost, say, for example, we've lost Morris and we've got Harvey Barnes. And you look at Harvey Barnes, you think, God, he offers so much. And within, mm. I'd say, a season or two more, he's going to be at a bigger club than Leicester. I can just see Yeah, you, you, that's what I'm saying. You know what, Harvey Barnes might go somewhere, but then you'll bring someone else out. I, I, from, and from and then I don't, yeah, but I don't want someone in the comments to go, oh, bigger club, you, you did, you're saying that Leicester are a small club. Uh, look, I'm saying facts. Don't, don't matter if Harvey Barnes to go, goes to Man United. Man United aren't the end of all products either. Exactly. A player, could, a player, a player like, uh, could leave Man United and go to Real Madrid. It's happened. Rashford, Look at David Beckham. Rashford. It's happened he before. Go Barca. I, I'm, I'm just saying, players move up that's the idea is to play at the most elite level you can get to and i'm sorry but leicester are not the most elite level you can get to you're talking your, your real madrid your bayern munichs your, your barcelona's your psg unless, fucking... unless you're jamie vardy and, well, and you know well, the platform that leicester have yeah, given okay. him he's caught sort uh, yeah, of respected yeah. leicester at yes, the point where that yes. is his most elite point he's going to get to give or take give or take some players make the decision to stay at clubs for the love of the club for the love of what their their role is at that club maybe mm. you know there is circumstances that, that, like that there's lifers you know there's, yeah. there's, there's tons like roy Keane at man united lifer yeah. you know uh, but you do get it where you get a player like Van Persie from Arsenal yeah. to United, and then he goes and wins yeah. the title. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm, I've got to say the reason what I want I put this comment on is it's actually you know what it's absolutely spot on. Maybe another reason why Leicester are doing so well is because there's no real pressure for Leicester to win the league. You know what? There's pressure Ex for Man City to win the league. There's there's pressure for Pep to win the league with Man City, especially because Liverpool are not performing. There's pressure for Man City to get that title back. There's pressure for yeah. Man United to deliver because of the mm. fan base that Man United have. There's no pressure for Leicester to win the league. Ten years ago, well, maybe 11 years ago now, we're in 2021. We were in League One. Mad. Probably a little bit longer than that. We were in League One. We got fucking relegated to League One under Ian Holloway. Ian mm. fucking... We had Matty Fry up front. Matty fucking Fry it. it was, you know, <laughs> it got about fucking 40 goals in that League One. Fair, fair play. But... League fucking It's not won. Jamie Vardy. Uh, how many of you boys that support these big sides, including yourself, Winksy, can say that you've been with a side, a local side? I'm not saying you're not allowed to support any team just because you're not local. I'm not one of them. But I, this is my local team that, that supports the city that I live in, charities, you know, businesses, you name it, that's gone from fucking nowhere again and come to where we are, and we're still written off. We've won the yeah. Premier League, we're still written off as a club. Still fucking written off. We're never considered to be in the top four. You see it all the time, the articles by Sky Sports and all this shit. You see it all the time. I've seen it countless of times. They fucking they did a poll on uh, the Sun paper the other day, uh, what mm. teams could, could secure top six football. Leicester weren't in it. We're fucking third. <laughs> It's mad. It is mad. And you know what? I'm going to come back to what you said about the, the big clubs. And I completely respect what you say, because there's not many people that, that do support their local teams and go through the journey that Leicester, that Leicester fans have, have been through. Um, but back to the United thing, you know, I, I, I've got to give respect to, to anyone who's, who's supporting United around the times that, that I, I have, because they, they've not won anything really <laughs> since, since, we've, since I've started supporting them. So, you know what, it's almost like we've, we've gone back in time again and it, it's almost given new fans of the, the big clubs, you know, a, a restart. You yeah, know, we're not yeah. in the glory days of back, back yeah. from when we are. Um, yeah. We're almost restarting it all over again and we're almost trying to, you know, grind out those results like, like you boys are. And it, it's not like we, we are far away from the title as much as you are. You've won the title. Yeah, yeah. Um, Closer to the modern day than than United have, and that's a mad stat to have. So know, we're we're fighting for it as much as you boys are, and um, yeah, with this with this local nonsense and stuff, just, I, I've it's, got it's, I've got to have respect for people that support the local teams. Um, I think if I if I didn't have family that was in in Manchester, I, I would have supported Leicester because I've got family in here as well. But it's a fifty fifty, and obviously I've I've been closer with the United uh, family side, and then. Um, 
got caught up in it, <laughs> unfortunately, some people might say. But it it's football it is, at the end of the day. It's get, football at the yeah, end of the day. You get it's a bit in, of fun. You, as a kid, you get influenced by parents, what team they support. You get influenced by friends at school yeah. to fit in. To fit in, you'll yeah. support a, a successful side. You'll fit in. Right. So there's a bit of conformity going on there. So you conform. And then there's obviously the, the media that hype. There's the same mm. clubs constantly. There's been a couple of channels that have talked about it, <laughs> the local stuff. I think Craig's has been a prime example of yeah, being slated yeah, because yeah. he's not local. Uh, so I think can, I might put it out of the video. Yeah, you can clip this. The worst kind of supporters aren't the glory supporters. It's the glory supporters that change teams to another team that is successful mm. because their team they were supporting aren't successful anymore. They're the worst supporters. They're not football fans. They are image, all about their image fans. At the That's end of the day, are. anyone supporting right. United right now are not glory supporters. <laughs> You're more of a glory supporter if you start supporting uh, Leicester right now than you are United. So. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I'm not going to dispute about the fact that I look like Wes Morgan on a good day if I've covered myself in tattoos. I, I, who knows? I get a, a bit of a, a suntan going on. Um, but uh, no, I never used to get free stuff as a as a Look alike, either it, it's all fake. That's all propaganda. It's all uh, it's all staged videos that you see on YouTube about the free stuff for anyone. It's always staged. Dynamo the magician, four series he had. Every every trick was staged. Every trick, every trick was staged. So don't believe TV. Don't believe the media, boys. Believe the real stuff. Mm. This is real. This is live. I'm not faking anything. I say everything's true.